I swear down, I believe say na a uh, uh, Bob Risky nine call police for when the lawyer tell me say that to the key, I couldn't believe it. Because me as a father of the industry, I was going to call, I get I know Bob Risky through Instagram, I would have reached out to say, ah, Bobby. Mama Shibai, your drop case, and I'll have told him personally, ah, uh -huh. brother to sister, brother to sister, please leave VDM alone. Only for me to hear is Tun to Diki, a whole APC politician, a politician in the ruling party. Haba, Haba, Haba. Operation Itik Podju. This power is too much. This power is too much. It's too much, oh. Huh. The police. Make on a free very dark man. Forget my smiling face. Are they serious? Make on a free very dark man. I beg. I beg on a God. Make free very dark man. Free very dark man. <laughs> Please, you guys, you free very dark man. Are they serious? Okay, I'm serious. Free very dark man. <laughs> There is a lot going on right now. It is about a very dark man. He was once uh, petitioned and the Nigerian police had kept him in detention. Now, he's still in the custody of the police. He has been remanded. The enemies of a uh, very dark man, as he's called, his real name is Martin Ose or Ote Ose. He has always been on camera but the thing is this um everyone has a past yes everyone has a past back then very dark man had sold his body online and um it seems to a lot of people he cannot be an advocate um it could be that those people that are into what they are into are also passing through the stage that he had passed through but that's not what we want to talk about very dark man has always been on the face of a lot of people he had acquired so many enemies people who believe that very dark man um is against them people who believe that very dark man is trying to destroy their businesses and majority of their businesses is this um, illicit illegal um whatever it is either body cream that that could cause you grievous damages and also he, he he just became all of a sudden um an activist like a solo activist now issue started with very dark man yabojo and tonto dk this is not the first time that very dark man will be remanded this is not the first time but this time around, it seems uh, uh, it's going to be a serious one. It's going to be a serious one. He, has, he was arraigned at the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Wednesday, facing five counts of cyber stalking involving the Nigerian police and Nollywood actress Yabu Joe and Tonto DK, to which he pleaded not guilty. The one of the police is uh, when he said that there is an high ranking police officer that could be probably. Benching, benching, benching. Who you might be wondering, benching who the cross dresser that is presently in the custody, not custody anyway, he is in prison, he has been jailed. I'm talking about Bob Risky. So let me just go through a few of uh, what very dark man is being charged for so that. We can all like process it together and let's see if very dark man will not be coming out anytime soon. His lawyer is Deji Adenyoju, the um activist that you know. Um Deji Adenyoju had applied for bail, but the police prosecuting team informed Justice Mobolaji Olaju that they needed more time to respond to the application leading. The court who adjourned the bill hearing to May 29th. The prosecution sought to have the blogger remanded in prison custody, but his lawyer successfully argued for his remand in police custody instead. 
the courts granted this request and very dark man mm -hmm. was taken to the national cyber crime center now well <laughs> Let me just go through a few of um, what they are charging him for. Um, one is that he posted a video on 29th of October 2023 that contained offensive, pornographic, or menacing information falsely alleging that Yabo Joe had an indecent um, sexual relationship with her daughter, violating section this and that and that, and that... Uh, <laughs> Oh my God. So they are still on this one. They are still on it. Um, two, they posted another video on January 19, 2024 on Instagram, falsely accusing King Tonto DK of criminal conversation of crowdfunding proceeds and being behind the Gislova blog, intending to cause annoyance, inconvenience, and other harm. <laughs> Count three, um, that um, he... He, by means of computer system, intentionally posted video, videos on his Instagram handles containing the information um, about uh, Tonto DK. So, they said he posted that he alleged that senior police officers and lawmakers were involved in sexual activities with Bob Brisky. I thought they had done with that nonsense. Um, count four. Now he posted video on March 19, 2024, claiming that Bobrisky was pimping young boys to senators and senior police officers. Now, that Bobrisky is in the custody of the police. So, it means that uh, uh, <laughs> a very dark man will be going in if... Um, if he's unable to fight his case in court, if he's unable to win, um, what they're just trying to do is to just uh, um, kind of uh, give Very Dark Man a little bit of blows here and there um, in the hope that Very Dark Man will kind of, uh, kind of calm down, sort of. You know, that kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. Um... <laughs> I am I'm kind of thinking that uh, um, if if very dark man is not careful I repeat again if very dark man is not careful he will be spending time in prison he will be spending time in prison um, if he's not careful. The problem here is that uh, these people do not want Very Dark Man to open his mouth the way he does. Um, it's not as if Very Dark Man is not doing the job that the police are supposed to do. This is what it's, it's called citizen, citizen job, citizen work. That is what it is. This is what the police, in fact, people like Very Dark Man, are, 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 these are the people, these are the people these are the people. These are the people that the police should be working with. These are the people police should be working with. That's my own belief on this case. Um, these are the people. I'm not. I'm not now saying that a very dark man should make uh, ambiguous or um, just put out things about people um, without uh, um, any evidence to it. Um, I, I, and I'll, let us be sincere. If you look at the characteristics of Yabo Joe and Tonto DK so far, uh, I think uh, their utterances and their words, like what um, Yabo Joe said that made Mr. Martin Ose respond you know, it is the utterance that made him reply this. At least that is what we know. But it is not for us to argue this. It is the court. Uh, what they needed is for him to be remanded. To them, they won because they petitioned him. What he should have done is to go rather than talk, 
go via the same route that they went, if they are putting out, uh, if they are saying things that do not tally, you also take them to court. Rather than using your platform, I think very that man will learn from this one. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.